As I mentioned, my friend Peter finally ran a game after talking about it for years. And he did pretty well considering, although 4 fights at level 1 are a little bit much, but I gotta be fair and say that battle was the thing that he was most concerned about, so good on him for tackling his fears. What was super exciting for me though was that he let me play the Autonome, which is currently in Unearthed Arcana. Unearthed Arcana, if you don't know, is where Wizards publishes material that is for playtesting and future releases. And I personally love it. I've played the Runeite while I was in UA, I've made a Rabbit Folk uh, NPC, and that's just the most recent example. So now I get to try the Autonome, and its standout feature is the permanent AC of 13, which is pretty cool, especially when you play a wizard. Which I did. A young wooden boy Autonome, made in its maker's image, ready to explore the world. You know what else is really cool? That you can cast Mending on yourself to heal. But how does it compare to something like a Warforged, maybe? Well, let's look at it. So the Warforged at its stand gets a plus 2 in Constitution, plus 1 in any other ability score, where the Autonome gets the new standard of plus 2, plus 1 in any of your abilities. Or a plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. The Autonome is designated the Construct, where the Warforged is not, and the size is medium versus small. They both get a speed of 30 feet. Age, I would say, is unknown for either of those creatures, how old they can really get, and alignment is something that has been more or less dropped anyway, so I don't think they're gonna put it in there. Then you have constructed resilience versus mechanical nature. The Warforge gets advantage against being poisoned and has resistance to poison, doesn't need to eat, drink, or breathe, is immune to disease, and doesn't need to sleep, and magic can't put it to sleep. For the Autonome, it is stated as mechanical nature. You have resistance to poison and damage, immunity to disease, and have advantage on saving throws against being paralyzed and poisoned. So paralyzed is added there, and you don't need to eat, drink, or breathe. It doesn't say anything about sleeping, but then sentry's rest is essentially the same. You have a difference in how their bodies act as armor, where the Warforge has the integrated protection and basically the body is the armor and you can upgrade the armor where the Autonome has a armored casing and it's just a flat 13 plus your dexterity modifier. Obviously, while you aren't wearing any armor, if you put armor on, that would change you. They both get a specialized design, but the Autonome currently has two tool proficiencies where the Warforge only has one. And in addition to all of that, the Autonome has built for success where you get an extra d4 on one roll, which is basically a free plus. And you get the true life feature, which allows you to get healed by using mending, as well as healing spells. The Warforge, as it's not designated as a construct, can benefit from all the healing spells, but gains nothing from mending. I can see them become very similar, especially mechanical nature and constructed resilience, but I would definitely like to see some differences. Otherwise, it's just like a medium versus a small creature. And that sounds very boring to me. I definitely enjoyed playing it as is, although I can see people saying that it's a little bit overpowered. But isn't that what makes it interesting? Well, anyways, if you liked this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And with that, I'll talk to you tomorrow.